Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another video. So we all know that The Sims 2 is, is my game. Not that it's not anybody else's, but I mean, for me personally, The Sims 2, it has the most nostalgia for me. The Sims 3 comes close, and I might feel the same way about The Sims 4 in a good couple of years. <laughs> Although it's probably still going to be around in a good couple of years, according to the Sims team. But The Sims 2, for me, it's just got so much nostalgia and it's an amazing game. But I don't know how much of that is just purely down to nostalgia or whether it is a really great game. It still has limitations purely just because of the time it was released. But the jump from The Sims 1 to The Sims 2 was astronomical amazing and a lot of you have been tagging me to react to this video the sims 2 50 fun little details not in sims 3 and sims 4 so i'm very excited to have a look through and get into it and give my reactions and my thoughts why have i got to clap everything i don't know it sounds like i don't know who this channel is i do know who this channel is they do a loads of like informational videos inf informational informative videos but they also do lots of nostalgic stuff so basically i love another nostalgic bitch sims 2 50 fun little details not in The Sims 3 and The Sims 4. Sorry, hands, Sims 3 and Sims 4 not invited. Show you 50 interesting, sensible yet subtle details that makes The Sims 2 so much more enjoyable in various- There's so much happening in this image right here, right now. Oh. If your Sims are preparing food, they will open kitchen- Yes, the board! Oh like my knives, god, god. Bowls, pans, etc. Little things like that for me. It's just that realism love, do you know what I mean? I feel like The Sims 4 placed a lot of emphasis on tiny little animations. But they were just kind of useless because the tiny little animations were like cooking something and they like flip it. Like, I don't want to see that. Who flips food unless it's pancake day? And Shrove Tuesday's already been so fish bash bosh over and done with that one. But just little things like getting things out of cabinets. It makes cabinets feel like they're actually usable instead of just a piece of decoration anyway. I already know what this next one's going to be. When two people come together, they'll have a little snuggle. But that's not it. Once both of their energy needs become full, they will decide to lay there for a second and let their partner sleep on their chest before waking up completely. I take it back. I did not know what number two was going to be. I am big fat shocked. I miss Sims touching. It sounds weird when you say it like that. It has a flat screen TV mounted on the wall. There is oh, an seen this one. rare chance where the TV could fall down and be broken down into two piles of scraps. I love that. Pretty sure it's already dying inside there. <laughs> I always feel uncomfortable just sitting below a flat screen TV because I'm always scared like what if this bastard falls down and hits me on the head and I'm dead. So maybe, just maybe, that's where the fear comes from. <laughs> from all the years of playing The Sims 2 and not appreciating it but it's always stayed in my subconscious. There is a small chance that your crying toddler will actually escape from their crib. So keep an eye out God, for look at the deviant children. little face on it. I found this one out because one time I was playing and my toddler was in the crib and then they were just out of the crib and I was like, what kind of magic is this? And then I caught it one time when I was playing The Sims 2 and that is absolutely amazing. I mean, toddlers can get out of the cribs in The Sims 4 because they're basically beds. And I don't know whether I prefer the cribs or bed situations, but um, I mean, anything's better than babies being an object, isn't it? Anyway, let's move on. Teenagers could grow <gasps> acne if they frequently have low hygiene. You can, however, make them go away quicker with acne cream by clicking on a mirror. I knew that, right? I knew that they got spots. Because my Sims used to get spots, but I never knew it was because of low hygiene. I always wondered why some Sims got spots and some Sims didn't. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
There's also a proper animation of the car exiting the driveway. I do remember one thing with cars in The Sims 2. You could take your kid to school, but to take him to school, you'd have to kind of beat the school bus, because if the school bus was there before, you were trying to drive your kid, the kid would just like, nap, I'm going on the bus, bye mom, I don't want to be embarrassed by you. Like the amount of times I'd be like, <laughs> trying to get the kid in the car. Oh, gotta love them. Are sometimes smart enough to step over small objects like toys when Shut they're struck the away. Door. At least they won't get stuck forever when surrounded by like certain in Sims games. <laughs> if your Sims the shade, coffee, the shade of it all. Start this is one that time. I saw on Twitter. I did not know activities. this. That is honest. That me. That's me. When I went to VidCon and I was doing some panels and I was down in coffee before because I was so nervous. I was literally on the panel. I was like, Ugh. does Sims imitate life or does life imitate Sims? While sleeping with low needs or low aspirations, your Sims could sometimes have nightmares and wake up in the middle of the night, but they'll go back to sleep eventually. I did not they know will that. They sometimes struggle and mumble in their sleep too. Not a clue. You can do various things with new Papers. Some of the fun Make stuff paper that you can do with it are filling crosswords to increase your logic skill and making yes! paper airplanes with it that can be flown for several times before breaking. If children witness their parents arguing, they will run I out of the room I saw this one on Twitter upset. too. Once they're out, I feel like that scene, let's just go back five seconds. This scene, I feel, was included in every single Sims 2 machinima or music video at some point. Nothing. Just imagine some dramatic music over this. In fact, I'll put it in in editing. That is very much adequate. Children will greet their parents at the front door after the parents yes. went home from work with a hug or a kiss. This will be done automatically if both have good relationship. And also, I don't know if this is said in the thing, so I'm going to wait. No, I'm not going to wait. I'm just going to say it now. Overachiever. That's what I am. As well, when your sim comes home from school, if they've got a bad report card, then they'll look at it and they'll be like, oh, and they'll shove it in the pocket. But if they've got a good one, they're like, yes, get in, lads. And then they'll race up and find the nearest parent and show them. Sims with lazy personality will be more regularly stand or walk in a slouched position. No, I'm slouched. <laughs> flat screen TV mounted on the floor will need to be pulled away in order but to But then once fixed. it's fixed, it won't once go back. Done, it'll stay in that position until you push it back again manually. <laughs> your sims could also lay down on their Came side like, like this on the French sofa. Girls. Their comfort need will also raise faster by doing this. Oh my god, I didn't I know it affects comfort. I think this is the sims game that knows how we actually watch TV in real life. <laughs> sims with at least 7 need personality points will sometimes clean windows with sponge. Yes, I've seen and this happening. And they also look out the window menu. sometimes. If there are two toddlers and one of them is drinking a bottle of milk, the other could steal their bottle. The toddler whose bottle was stolen from will then proceed crying. That is amazing. Teenagers could run away from home if <gasps> yes. they have bad relationship oh with the my other God. house members. I just want to say one time my sim ran away and I didn't know that it was a thing that could happen. But I just made her argue with the parents or something and she packed her back and left. And I was sat there as a child, thoroughly, absolutely distraught because I didn't have a clue what was happening. Me sim just I just want to say thank you to The Sims 2 for scarring me. No other Sims game has managed to do that that much. Apart from when The Sims 1 crashed actually after I'd built a swimming pool in this massive house that I'd worked really hard on. That scarred me and all. But my Sim running away takes the cake. They will return eventually right before they grow up. But if you report it to the police, the chances of them returning are even faster. I did not know you could report it! And in a police car. Cushions in the couches and living chairs will actually slightly Shut move up. when the Sim is sitting on it. I'm actually really amazed when I found out about it. That. When a Sim plays a game on a computer, They'll turn it on, wait for it to boot up, insert the game's disc. I remember this because I remember looking so in depth at the desktop being like, have you got what I've got? Have we got the same thing? It was Windows XP then and it kind of looks like the Windows XP thing. Wait for the game's intro to finish and then start playing the game. If you invite Sims to your house, there's a chance they will steal your garden gnomes or newspaper. Then at Slapper. midnight, one of your household members might automatically decide to leave the lot for a while to steal <gasps> it back. Oh. If the kid is on a carpet, they can prank others by rubbing yes, their Yes, I remember this one. Electricity. Look at the little evil face. Get the finger! Oh, no, really, you have to stop. When a sim is running and needs to take the stairs, they'll actually take the stairs while running as well. I swear, <laughs> this is the only Sims game that does this. <laughs> and it's so efficient. If you change a baby or toddler's diaper. Honestly, like, this seems like a good thing. So it's like all the realism. And it's kind of, it, it's a 50-50 it's a for me. Because I am not the most clean person in The Sims. I struggle to keep up with constantly cleaning up nappies. And constantly cleaning up bottles. You can see the bottle in the corner of the screen right there. Bottles and nappies, get, they get out of hand so quickly. You can also bathe a baby oh my on the yes, or change the diaper that. I properly that. by using the baby changing station.
sorry, I was ignoring my front door. There are a lot of social games that Sims can play with each other. Besides the usual rock, paper, scissors, catch, pillow fight, tag, and kiki ball, they can also play rat hands. Oh, I remember this. Punch you, punch me, tickle, cops and robbers, Mary Mac. Oh, I still remember the around. noise from Mary Mac. And you can even play Marco Polo while swimming. It might have only been teenagers or kids. I can't remember which life say it was. It might have been everybody actually. Boy, you could just, it was called hang out and you'd sit with cross legged and like you'd lean back. Basically, you could have group conversations. So, multitasking has been around for a while, hence. When a child does a dance together with an adult, they'll oh, do this adorable dance with the child's feet stepping on that the adult's feet. makes me feel sad because I used to do that with my mum and dad. Sims who are playful will have the option to yes, play with I remember the this one. I think like a diver, a swimmer, or a sailor. With serious personality, when directed to do serious stuff like using the telescope, would express their excitement first while looking at the screen. The same can be said to neat sims that are directed to clean stuff, <laughs> outgoing <laughs> sims that are directed to, clean to that make the first move, and other interactions that are in accordance with their personality. That's class! Children will have the option to show off some gymnastic tricks to someone. It consists of doing a cartwheel, a somersault, or a headstand. There are hair physics in this game. You'll quickly notice that I Sims' hair, hair will wave around even with the slightest movement. Sims can set an alarm to wake them up before going to work. I remember that. But if they're in a bad mood, they will smash them instead of turning it off normally. I did not know that. And those are 50 <laughs> fun little details in Sims 2 that future Sims games don't have. Well, well, well. Obviously, definitely go subscribe to that channel. They've also got a part two that's out now. If you want to go watch that, I'll leave that in the description as well. So please subscribe. But I want to talk about how I feel about the actual video. I reacted live. Honestly, like, there's some little things that were desperately missing things like your sims hugging in bed and the reactions in accordance with the personalities and stuff that kind of thing means a lot to me and it's just little realistic stuff opening cabinets and getting food out or fixing a telly and then having to physically push it back or the chance that it can come off a wall and the little interactions between people like playing like don't have any friends to do it with. We are the Geordie girls, we wear our hair in curls, we wear dungarees to show our sexy knees. Na, 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 na. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He gave me a hundred kisses, then he asked for more. My daddy jumped for joy, it was a baby boy. I named him Kangaroo, and then I flushed him down the loo. We are the Geordie girls. I mean, teenage pregnancy is high in Middlesbrough, um, but it's little things like that I really enjoy, and it's it adds a lot of depth to the game, and I would like the Sims team to focus on that more in the future. I think that would definitely help make the game feel more alive, not even just for The Sims 4, but for The Sims 5 in future. I think it's a learning curve with games to like cut back and realise what we miss and what we don't necessarily miss. Like, hair physics, for me, they're the kind of things that I can go without. Like, it's cool, or you sim moving up on the city and the couch, like, dipping. I would much rather animations be put into... Um, the sims hugging in bed or facial reactions in accordance with the personality rather than to do with physics in that sense like i'm okay to let go of them but other things i need the animations on and that's my general opinion if you don't know what you've got until it's gone i feel like shit just want it back but that's my point we've got it cut out and now we're like you know what we don't want it cut out we need these kind of things in the game and hopefully a lot of people who play the sims are really delving back in this this nostalgic part about it hopefully the sims team takes notes and gives us what we want i think the the whole community is ready for a little bit of nostalgia. This is a hint to the Sims team. Like I said, go subscribe to the channel. It's linked below. Also watch their video as well. Give them the views of this video. Don't just watch this video. Go watch theirs as well. Hi, hello, it's just Ed and me popping in. I hope you enjoyed the video so far. I just want to say that I purposefully cut out parts of their video when I was editing so that when you go and watch their video, you've still got points to see and it's not just all going to be displayed in this video. So you still need to go check their video out because they've still got lots of really, really cool points. And they've also got a second part of this up now. So yeah, please go give them the love. They deserve it. Let me know what thing you miss the most about The Sims 1 or The Sims 2 or even The Sims 3. Or let me know what you like about The Sims 4. Let's start some positivity. Let's leave myself out. I also have Instagram and Twitter, Plumbello IT, if you want to go follow me on there. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, -bye, -bye, -bye guys.